Hello everyone, my name is Master Starman and welcome back for more Let's Play Twilight Princess HD! Last time, we filled up uh, the fish journal, which was not really that important, but we did it anyway. In this part, let's actually make some halfway decent progress. There is a, p a piece of heart I can get here. I'll save it for next time, I think, actually. We've done enough side questy stuff in the last little while. I kind of want to just make some progress in this here. We were told to kind of... Well, actually, I don't even think we were told, but... Kind of wanted to head back to Telma's Bar and see if anyone was around here, so let's, well, head back to Telma's Bar. <laughs> Should be some more folks back here. Hey, look indeed, everyone's kind of all back here. Uh, what does Telma have to say, actually? What's Elia doing? I'm sure that Shelma will find a way to get her memory back. That Renato is a talented man, for sure. Anyway, honey, I got you've got your own things to worry about, so... Maybe I'd go talk to Russell. He's in Hyrule Southwood right now. Check out the lay of the land. If you need detailed directions, take a peek on the map. Hmm. Wonder if the Sacred Grove Russell mentioned near this mark. Hmm, Sacred Grove, you say? That's definitely an area we've been to a few times. At least one major time. Then again, there's a dungeon near there. We've been to the Sacred Grove a couple of times. Let's head there. Let's not waste any more time. We're just gonna go back to North Faron Woods. And it should be relatively straightforward here. It should be a relatively straightforward jaunt here. Uh, let's transform here in case Midna's like, oh, well, there's a human up ahead. Uh, I don't have a red potion right now, or... Yeah, you know what, and yeah, you don't have to buy these here, but you know what, I'll... <laughs> yeah, that tastes pretty bad here. Buy something, anything. I'll buy a red potion. And that is how much? 30. You don't have to do this, but I like being a nice person. You can just, like, leave if you want and not worry about the money there. Thank you, thank you. Hey, thank you. Come back anytime. You can steal the potions and the lantern oil from this guy, but... Eh, doesn't hurt being a nice person now, does it? I don't think we're hurting on money too much, either. It's been a while since we took a walk in the forest, huh? Yes, and how our world has changed. Yeah, it sure has. Say. You know about the far side of the deep gorge? Some say there's an ancient temple deep in the woods that guards a sacred power. These ancestors of the Halians created the temple. The signs of their civilization, ancient. Very sophisticated are everywhere. Someone could obtain the power of those ancient people. Well, I, I am sure we go a long way towards saving Hyrule. Like, did you take on this task? Could you cross the gorge and find the ancient power? I don't really have much of a choice, but I mean, we already have a ancient weapon from that era, anyways. Last time we had a monkey help us when we were with Midna. Actually, last time Midna helped us cross this gap. You'd think we could just cross this with a. Midna by ourselves, but no, instead we get a nice golden chicken here. Let us use our nice golden chicken to cross this gap here. Uh, making sure I know where I'm going here. Uh, it would also help if I have my mini map showing me some things as well here. Seem like the wind is as cooperative with us here, so let's use our boomer, our gale boomer here. And make sure our chicken doesn't go flying off here. I don't think the chicken can, I'm pretty sure you're kind of forced into using it for this section of the game anyway. But yeah, we're heading back to the Lost Woods. It's a pretty neat little thing of, like, going back to an area we were previously, like, we were stuck 
going this way earlier with Wolf Link, and now we're able to actually explore his normal Link here. Pretty neat. And we're not going to use that chicken for the rest of this. I, I don't know why we really needed the gold chicken otherwise, because Midna got us across that just fine, but... Now, unfortunately, being back in Lost Woods, you probably remember what that means from last time. Ah, more of this crap. We got us a Skull Kid. I think we largely have the same kind of annoying area that we had the first time through here is chasing down this pesky rascal here. At least we have access to arrows here, but otherwise... Yeah, you'll want to pay attention to the lantern, to the light on the lantern to kind of pinpoint where we're supposed to be going here. There's one hit there. Alright, now then, I believe this area is open up to us now, it's through that way there, yeah, yeah, um, you may notice up there there is a Po, which we will like to grab while we're in the area for this, if we're not bombarded by these things. This area is largely the same as it was the first time that we were through this place, which wasn't very fun to begin with. Ugh, I knew that was going to happen. I just knew that was going to happen. Why are these things so fast here? I, it's not a side effect of hero mode, even though it makes these things way, way, way more annoying on hero mode. What? Why are you down here? Where did that Poe go? Okay, I don't know where that Poe just went there, but I don't really like that it up and vanished on us there. Third time's the charm on this guy. There we go. There's our next Poe soul there. And I think that's the only one in this main area of Sacred Grove here. There's a few more kind of in the general area, but not as much in this, like, part of it, thankfully. Anyways, I think that we gotta go up this way here. Which way has the candlelight? This way it does. It's pretty much your hint to follow whatever area has the candlelight. And there's a secret here. Let's glow this puppet thing's butt. Sure, why not? I'm guessing a Meaver stamp probably. No bombs. Eh. That could be useful. There was there are some secrets with bombs in this area that might not be immediately obvious here. There's this guy. Thankfully we have arrows to attack this guy this time. Not sure where that was unless this is the same room here. Which it sure just was. <laughs> Guessing this guy's... Oh, is he up the top of the one pathway that we were in earlier, or...? That's the way we came in, I th or no, this must be the way to go here. Sorry, I just find this area confusing. Everything all kind of looks the same. The Skull Kid likes to go between a bunch of annoying rooms here. You're chased by really fast and annoying, infinitely respawning enemies this entire time. It's just not a pleasant room I like, or not a very pleasant section of game. I, I don't like being here either time. 
this still isn't where I need to be at all. Take arrows, though. I was starting to get a little low on those. Oh, wait. Is this kind of the way out? Or no. That's just an actual candlelight there. I see him there. Die, please and thank you. There we go. Still got more of this to go here, it seems. This area was a little bit more obvious to know where we had to go. Aha, here we go. This area may look a little familiar. It's uh, pretty much, I think, almost the same... I, I wouldn't even call this a mini-boss, but it kind of is one. It's kind of the same idea here, but... Thankfully, hit this guy with arrows here. I think that's pretty much just this whole phase in a nutshell, though, is just defeat whatever enemies come this way and then in your downtime try and hit Skull Kid with an arrow here. Which, honestly, I probably would rather this over the weirdness of the first time we fought this guy. I think that's it for him though now, thankfully. Please be it. Yeah, that looks like it's it there. Hee hee hee, that was fun. I'll tell you what, I'll let you into a secret place. That was not very fun. Now then, um I believe if I think this is the same place where we got the piece of heart here the first time we were in this area, I think? There was an area where we did get a piece of heart here before. Might have been that place previously. Either way, this would be kind of your time to go back to get that if, we, if you haven't gotten that already. This just creates a shortcut back to the way we came here before the first time. That's not too, too bad. Sacred Ancient Forest, this is what they were talking about. It sure was. I think I pointed this out before, but I'm pretty sure there is a bug on the... In, somewhere in this area that we got the first time. If we haven't been here in a while, then yeah, this would be pretty much why. In fact, I think it's... yeah, right up there. I think we did get that bug there before. And now... Now... I kind of want to wait because I'm pretty sure there is actually a puzzle here at nighttime only, so... It's kind of dumb like that, but yeah, there's a po here at night. So I'll meet you guys back here when it does turn to night because, yeah, there it is, there it is. 
Yep, at nighttime, there is just, in fact, a pulsal here. Very, very nice to grab. All right, now... With all the optional stuff out of the way, let's actually make our way over towards... <clears throat> towards progress, I guess. Which... I think involved us actually going back this way. Yeah, this this part's always kind of struck me as a little bit weird because, like, now that we finally return back here, it's kind of odd, but we can just sort of strike this pedestal back with the master sword again, and doing so just sort of re-energizes and activates this door here like you have to come back to this part of the game here in order to do this but it's just odd that you can't really do this your first time here and there's not really a great explanation why also go figure these guys would show up here all of a sudden i don't also don't remember this many keys being here either though and there's five of these guys. Oh, jeez. Okay, there's already a bit of a difficult fight on our hands as it is here. Ah, crap, that's... Yep. We did get a new technique there that I wouldn't mind showing off here if I could. That's not it at all there. Oh, the jump strike actually takes out two it or can one-shot these guys. That's actually a pretty good way to get rid of at least just one of them if you kind of just want one of them off your ass there. Okay, can the other guy... This way here, buddy. <laughs> Screw it. I'm gonna. The other guys. The other two. Too far separated there. And okay, good. Helm Splicer takes out two of them also. Though, nothing beats a classic... Yeah, nothing beats a classic jump attack. You can use Wolf Link to take care of these guys too. It kind of just is what it is, you know? And with all that now, we have access to a new door that we didn't have access to before, which is very, very nice. It's just funny that these things can't really happen your first time here with... I don't think our Master Sword got stronger, we just kind of... heard of word to come back this way and that was that, but... Check out where this is! If anyone who's played Ocarina enough time before, this... might make you feel a little giddy on the inside, because yeah, we're back in the Temple of Time in that game. It has the same music, it's... Just kind of a cool little nod here. Cool little nod to one of my favorite Zelda games. Lots of cool stained glass murals here. Unfortunately, none of them depicting that hero of Hyrule, but it's all good. It's all good. What we have also now is the ability to strike this. And don't ask me how... One of the fused shadows came over this way, but one of them apparently did, and... How did you get back here, Oku? <laughs> Next time on Twilight Princess HD... We're gonna head off... ...to the next dungeon of the game.
This is dungeon number six in the game. It is... The Temple of Time. I'll see you guys for that then. Peace out. Unless Midna has something to say. Nope, she doesn't. I'll see you guys then. Peace out.